Wow. Probably about 40 something degrees right now. <laughs> On top of a mountain with a mullet. Trying to be helping you a little bit. It kind of is just warming up my neck. Trying to figure out a camera angle, right? For the Wolf Tick Nation. For the Wolf Tick Nation. And uh, yeah, I mean, we're getting there. It's just trying to not mess with the spokes. Anybody that's ever mounted a GoPro, gotta know it's like so difficult to find the right spot and you think you got it and you get on your bike and your foot starts hitting it. I think that's gonna be good enough. You gonna spin it and see if it hits? Yeah, I don't think it's gonna hit. Damn it. <laughs> Son of a <laughs> Get off my hand. Oh my love. Wolf Tick Nation. Thank you guys for tuning in to once again another Wolf Tick Videos episode. Guys, on today's episode, we are pleased to bring you. We are atop beautiful Mount Nebo State Park in Dardanelle, Arkansas, and we are fixing to finally do a little 3 Pro E4 four piston hydraulic brake that's so real time. Mean. Review, huh? That's a lot of, that's, that's, is, is that all the name? That's a lot of names. No, I got it. I get That's all what's lettered on there. <laughs> we are fixing to do the real time review. We're going to be taking this thing down uh, Hayes Creek, the, one of the best trails in Arkansas, all right? It's a black diamond, 2.3, 2.4 miles. Boy, all right. He's growing. It's going to be great. We're going to bed these brakes in and the new rotors. So we got a 160 in the back and a big old 180 up front. <laughs> All right, we got the 203 in the front and the 180 in the rear. All right, so guys, we got the mullet. Let's go ahead and get suited up. All righty, and let's get after these brakes. Silhouettes of you are like a taunt. Never really noticed what you want With you I don't ever feel calm I could feel the sweat inside my palms Play with me like cats and a string You don't understand the pain it brings You don't ever wanna give me wings You don't ever wanna set me free You know I'm addicted to you And it's All just right. you can give you with the evil Here we go, guys We are doing the 3 Pro E4 four piston hydraulic brake real time review i got me a new camera action camera action i got me a new camera angle it is called the happy share up well, we're going to uh, put a little a fill link in the description for this camera mount up on the shoulder you guys let me know what you think if you like it going down hayes creek run uh, i'm not sure how stable it's going to be but it's a new shoulder mount so just a little different different look for the video i got to up that production right steve you know um, now, before we start this uh, real-time review, I wanted to tell you guys the things I look for um, with the brakes and what we're going to be looking for today. Uh, number one is going to be the overall braking power and see if there's any type of fade when it comes to these brakes. Uh, lever feel is super important. Um, another thing that's super important, it kind of goes with lever feel and uh, braking power, or the performance, is going to be if there's any pad movement with these calipers. Um, a lot of the times... Uh, you can actually feel and hear the pads moving inside the calipers themselves. So we're going to be looking for that. Um, any type of fade throughout uh, right now is going to be pretty good. A um, little trial period just to test on the downhill portion while we're bending these things in to see if these brake levers fade whatsoever. Um, I love the look and the design of them, but will they continue to have a really good strong wall? Um, that's something that's going to be... Uh, kind of reviewed right now the front definitely does have a good stopping wall the rear does as well if you guys remember on these brakes the rear hose came separate so what was nice about that we're actually able to install on this frame since it's internally routed and uh, the lines already filled with fluid so we did not have to go through a bleed so we'll see if that holds up um, but all right guys hopefully there's no overheating today first uh pistons our first uh brake calipers that we have had with the padded fins so that's pretty interesting as well but all right guys what do you say let's go ahead and get started on this real-time review we'll bed these brakes in going down the mountain and then we'll get started on Hayes Creek all right here we go let's do this bedding process now of course we are going to stay within the speed limit okay and we're not going to be jamming down here but we're going to do a little tension on the front tension on the rear 
I kind of get to a good little walking pace almost. We'll switch back and forth, see if we got any fade right now, but mainly just doing this for the bedding in process. Again, we have brand new rotors and we have uh, brand new pads. So we'll go at the front and the rear and just kind of cycle in between both of them. Okay, well, one thing I want to say right away is it doesn't feel like there is a lot of pad movement. That's really good. There's nothing that drives me nuts more than, well, first of all, a hydraulic brake that does not perform well, but a pad that moves around in the caliper. That is super annoying if you guys have ever experienced that before. It just makes a weird knocking noise every time you go to hit the brake. So I am a fan of these things so far that there's no pad movement, which is really good. But we will get you guys a lever cam here in a little bit um, when we're going down Hayes Creek Run uh, just to see if there's any fade, okay? But yeah, the levers feel excellent. All right, coming around the bend. All right, guys, here we go. Man, I'm excited. A little bit nervous. It's been so long since I've been on a bike, it seems like. All right, so... We're going to hit Hayes Creek, baby. Bedding process went in good. We're fixing to hit the pole lawless kiss your own. <laughs> right? And we'll be getting after it shortly. Got you guys with the uh, lever cam here on the rear. Hopefully there's no fade. We're going to try to do a little bit of one finger action first. Messed up my pole lawless turn. We'll do a little one finger action first, see if that's enough. And we might have to be switching to two going down the mountain. But we got the mullet on. We are cruising with the mullet, baby. The can't travail. Here we go. All right, guys. Hayes Creek run. Let's get it. All right. So, so far the levers, both front and rear, kind of going back and forth. I'm actually able to one finger them, but we weren't going in too hot right now. See how they treat us for the rest of the trail. No, we will be putting these brakes in the affiliate links in the description below and some other parts on this bike. First turn here. Okay, not the tightest as far as the lever feel. Kind of, I don't want to say mushy, but almost a little bit. Okay, you can kind of feel some of the power being lost, but we slowed down really good. Second one here. Okay, a little bit better grab on that. What I'm liking is the modulation. I can feel the pads making contact with the rotor. That's always such a good sign. You know, some of the cheaper end stuff doesn't have the greatest of modulation. Remember, these were our Amazon budget brakes, pretty much four pistons. Nice flow there. Think about a hundred and under $200 for these four piston brakes. They do take the mineral oil. Now, one thing I want to mention, we're going to be messing with, I know everybody says not to. All right, we got the Savage Rock Garden. Full slam. Perfect break. Not an issue at all. Um, the levers right now, they are a little far. Ooh, some good air there. They are a little far away from my fingers. I mean, I'm still doing the one finger, but we're having to really stretch out and I can feel my hands. Feel that wear and tear in my fingers already so what we're gonna do is everybody says don't mess with the reach unless you're going to be bleeding them wow we're stopping no problem man they're grabbing so good guys everybody always says don't mess with the reach adjustment these brakes do have it and it's the uh, style that you can actually do it without a tool don't mess with it because you're gonna get air inside the lines some people agree with that some people disagree some go well I have no clue how you're going to get air inside the lines if you adjust your reach. After we get down this trail a little bit, we're going to adjust the reach, make it a little more comfortable, and we're going to do a little real talk and see if it does mess with the brake's performance at all. Um, but as for right now, that's the only downside. I can lock that rear up, no problem. Uh, the only downside is just the reach, right? But we can adjust that. It does still have that wall fill, and they've kind of settled in. Good slowdown portion there we got some mud down here don't want to mess this trail up but man are they gripping so good 
All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at these rotors. Just got a good little stop in. They are looking really good. They're not crazy discolored. They're a little darker up here on this portion than they are down here. But really, I can feel a little bit of heat coming from them. And what's very interesting is the caliper is a little warm, but not, not as warm as what I'm used to. This is usually my main stopping point here. And usually the brakes or the rotors are a lot hotter than these ones are right now. And I wonder if that can be attributed to the fin pads. Interesting. All right, guys. So, so far, so good. Um, one thing I do want to do here in just a little bit, I want to mess with that reach adjustment, see if we can get a little more comfortable on the fingers since we do know um, so far we're actually being able to one finger these guys. And again, that modulation is just great. Feeling that whole contact throughout on the pad, making contact with the rotor is excellent. The levers do feel really good and very sturdy. We'll find out how tough they feel exactly when uh, we can move these levers in a little bit, but the levers do feel really good. No fade or anything whatsoever. The heat is at a minimum. That's what we just felt with the rotors and the calipers don't feel bad at all. Um, I'm thinking that that, I mean, I think the rotor, st the rotor size definitely has something to do with it. But I think that uh, fin pad, I think that makes a world of difference. And it is pretty cold out here today. We're about 54 degrees. That probably has some play in it as well. Ugh, some mud there. All right. Now let's go ahead and do this. Let's see if we got a little bit of difference here, okay? This is going to be the test. We're gonna prove everybody right or everybody wrong. Here is the reach adjustment. So we screw it to the left and we're actually bringing that lever in, okay? We're gonna give it another screw or two. Kind of hard to access this and I don't really like the design of it. Just a little weird, it seems kind of flimsy. I don't really like the looks either, but um, to be able to do this right here without getting my multi-tool out, it's kind of nice. Let's see. Okay, my finger definitely reaches there. No problem now. So we'll see if we still have the same amount of braking power on the rear, okay? But my fingers are really going to appreciate that. We'll go to the left on this guy. And again, if you guys have anything you want to say about, hey, if you do that, adjusting the lever uh, reach, you will have to bleed it before we ride the rest of this trail. I want to hear it because everybody always says you get air in there and how that's possible. I do not know. Oh, so much better. Yeah, that's more than enough. So we're good on the left. We're good on the right. Now let's see how we do. All right, guys, we got some more fast portions down here. Levers are brought in and on the first turn. Okay, I'm fixing to say, so let me get some air here. Woo first turn, what I can go ahead and say is there is a different feeling okay but the different feeling isn't what you think it's going to be the different feeling is i now have to two finger these because if i continue to one finger that lever will make contact with my other finger and everybody knows that's a pain in the butt and it, it just i hate that feeling so we're gonna have to now switch to two finger i don't think there's air let's see how strong okay no the brakes are still grabbing very good i'm using the heck out of that front one so i still do have that wall effect and i keep wanting to switch to the one fingers Oh, yep, I have got to go to the twos. Got to go to the two finger. Ain't that a bummer? Just because the amount. Uh, so that's kind of weird. Just to, okay, because the amount that that lever sits back and gets on my other finger. Now, I know what you guys are going to say. Well, you can just you can just adjust that lever to where you go to the left a little bit more and uh, get full potential, full pump. We could do that. Beautiful waterfall. We could do that, but the um, the shifter's in the way. So I'd have to switch positions with the shifter, which I might do uh, just because I like the performance of these. The left side wouldn't be that bad of an issue. All right, guys. So as a matter of fact, this is what we're going to do right now. We're going to do that. We're going to move this out to the left a little bit do a little bit of real-time review action on this and we're going to see if it still does uh, continue to ride up on my middle finger um, and if I still have the same or if it's a little bit different braking because the braking right now does feel weaker but that's only due to the fact that I'm having the double uh, finger as opposed to the one finger. Um, so the amount of power and all that's still there I can still feel the wall but let's unscrew this shifter and that's going to mess up the location of my shifter but I don't really have to shift a whole bunch on this trail anyway, so I'm willing to just try this out right now. Okay, see how close we have it? So we're gonna kick this guy out. 
we'll go about right there. I mean, that's a pretty good ways over. I don't have massive hands. Or here. Okay, so that's, so there we go. You can see it there. We're gonna clear my middle finger if we just stick on the one finger. So we'll tighten this guy back up. Love this multi-tool, by the way. Old Slaw Squatch, one of our patrons sent me this. This is the uh, Crank Bros um, multi-tool. Love this thing. We'll go a little bit more on this one since we don't have a shifter or a drop or anything to mess with. See how that looks. Yeah, that's going to be all just one finger action all day. Okay, so a little bit of shifting differences here. It really doesn't feel weird with my shifting finger uh, or my thumb or my, my trigger finger as far as shifting goes. So I did think that was going to affect that, but actually it doesn't. Have to shift a little bit here. All right, now we got a big old churn up here. Let's see if it makes a difference. I'm still on one finger. Okay, all right, we still got the wall fill, both on the front and the rear. Slow me down, no problem, again. All right, there we go. So there you have it, guys. Mess with the lever fill, Woo! I mess with the lever fill, or the uh, lever reach, okay? The brakes feel very good still. We move the location of the brakes, so not having to collide with my middle finger anymore. And uh, we still got the, amount, the same amount of brake performance back with the one fingers. So there you go. All right, guys, crank, the, crank that volume up. Let's get some speed. This is our fast portion right before we have to get off this trail. So let's do this. Hit that like button. Oh, yeah. Wow. Very impressed with the three Pro E4 brakes, the four pistons, uh, yeah. super impressed with them. Now we did do a little test on there because I kind of ran out of, of just good things to say about them, you know what I'm saying? So what we ended up doing was we messed with the reach adjustment about halfway through because everybody says, well, you mess with that, you mess with the brakes and you're gonna get air oh, yeah, lines. you were gonna try that out, that's yeah, right. Yeah, so I tried it out. I didn't feel a difference, but what I did feel was I think what most people feel, and I don't know if they understand why, is whenever they move that reach adjustment, you are now starting to collide with other fingers. So you have to kind of get more contact on the lever. So like these were one finger brakes, but then they automatically turn back into a two as soon as I did that because it was messing with my middle finger. It's in the way. It was in the way. Yeah. So what did I do? We then moved the brakes in like everybody says to do, and they went right back to one finger. And the same amount of power was there, the modulation, the all the feel was there. Levers felt great. The brakes performed excellent. You know what I'm all saying? Right. Yeah. Wow. It's yeah. about time we had a good a brake shot. review. Excellent brake review. Um, I feel super good about it. Um, there's really not a lot of negatives. Were you patting yourself on the back on the review? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I was just, just flowing out there. You know, it's been a long time since I've gotten to ride Hayes Creek, and it's just so good to have some reliable brakes. Now, last time wasn't so reliable. No. You know what I mean? So, um, the E4 brakes, I'm a big fan of the rotors, and I do want to say, I know it's a little bit chillier out here, but I do want to say that the thin pads actually made a difference with the rotor and the uh, the heat dissipation. Well, in all fairness, when you smoked those other ones, mm -hmm. the other brakes, it was it was cool out there. Oh, it was pretty it cold that day, too. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't yeah. Hot. Um, but I mean, I was looking at the discoloration of these rotors and I was trying to feel any kind of heat off of them and they just didn't, I always stop at the same point. They just mm -hmm. didn't feel as hot as most of all the other brakes do. You know what I mean? So this is a budget Amazon under $200 four piston set and guys, they felt, they felt pretty good, man. Like really no complaints with them whatsoever. Wow. Yeah. And uh, I think. Pressure and everything after all the downhill. Yeah. Right there was no fade or anything. Okay. I think the thing I'm most impressed with with these brakes, if I had to give just a number one you know, top score for some reason. I would say um, that they are shipped to you with the rear hose not connected to the lever. That, automatic, uh -huh. that automatically makes us go, ooh, I don't know about that. Maybe some oil came out during shipping and it worked as good as it just did going down that mountain. I don't know, that's, that's, a, that's a win for me. You know what I mean? So it's a little sketchy in the beginning when you're installing it and you're going, I don't think this is gonna work. And then you go out and ride it. It's, it's completely, it's a game changer, man. Very okay. cool. And we're able to actually not have to bleed it because of that and run it internally on this frame, you know? Mm -hmm. So very happy with that. But uh, Raxman, got him in the butt, just dropped. Well, Raxman80, thank you so much for sending us these brakes and, uh, and the rotors, right? The whole combo kit. Yeah. Appreciate that so much. I um, mean, as a patron, so all of our patrons out there, thank you guys so much. Wolf Tick Nation, please hit that like button, right? Hit that subscribe button if you ain't a part of the Wolf Tick Nation yet. If you want to see these brakes, if you want to see this kind of mount, again, let me know in the comments what you thought about it. Um, check out the affiliate links in the description below. Guys, you can always feel free to buy us a cup of coffee if you want to support. Feel cool. free. 
Huh? Feel free. Yeah, feel free to do it, right? Support cool rides and out and getting to actually get back on the bike, right? Hopefully next time we'll talk about some more coffee. We'll stuff. do a little coffee shout outs, right? Yeah. And if you guys want to support a little bit more, you guys can become a patron like all those other cool patrons. But all right, guys. Well, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to try to talk Wolfman into riding that one more time. We will see you guys on the next episode. Appreciate you guys watching.